Thank you very much. Uh, first, I'd like to thank the organizers for the invitation. And it's a great honor for me to give a talk celebrating uh, Professor Ofa Gaba's 60th birthday. And uh, yeah. OK, so the title of my talk is uh, on, on Relative Log Drum Bit Complex. And in, in the talk, I will uh, uh, first explain the definition of a, uh, define the relative log drum bit complex, which is a, which is a log uh, relative version of the drum bit complex of LZ, and which is a, also a log version of the uh, relative drum bit complex of Langa Zinc, and which is introduced by a former student of mine, uh, uh, Matsue. And, uh, and uh, I will uh, explain the comparison theorem between relative log drum bit cohomology and relative log crystalline cohomology, which uh, generalize, generalize uh, most of the previously known results by uh, Iluzi, uh, Langazink, Yodo Kato, uh, and Matsue. And the, this is a joint work. Joint work with uh, Kazuki uh, Hirayama uh, who is also a former student of mine. And uh, throughout this talk uh, we fix a small p uh, prime number. And first uh, I so the, I give the definition and uh, and uh, our main our main result. Uh, first, I will uh, fix some terminologies. Uh, maybe which already appeared. Maybe uh, a log ring. Uh, is a triple uh, consisting of R and large P and alpha, uh, where R is a commutative ring with a unit, and uh, large P is a fine monoid. Fine monoid. Uh, monoid is a, a commutative, and uh, a fine means a finitely generated integral. Monoid and alpha is a, a monoid homomorphism from P to R. Uh, uh, yes, uh, where R is regarded as a monoid by multiplication. And uh, usually uh, I will simply write the R log ring like uh, RP, and we omit to write uh, alpha. And uh, next, uh, yeah. And for a log ring, uh, uh, R uh, large P alpha, uh, we uh, it's bit log ring. Uh, which I denote by R, uh, WMR large P is, uh, this is a triple, uh, this is uh, the log ring uh, consisting of the bit M of R and P and beta and where, uh, yes, where uh, beta is the composition of from P by alpha to R, and then uh, we compose it with a time to WMR. 
And then uh, assume that we have a morph um, morphism of log ring uh, from Rp to Sq, a map of homo a map of morphism of uh, log rings. Then it in this is a, a map uh, between the uh, it's a bit log, log rings uh, which is compatible with respect to M, and then we define the notion of uh, log then log uh, F B pro complex. Uh, this is a projective system projective system uh, e m dot uh, d m dot and d log m uh, where m is a natural number greater than or equal to one uh, projective system of uh, log a uh, differential uh, graded commutative. Commutative means uh, uh, anti-commutative, uh, hyper anti-commutative, hyper commutative and anti-commutative. Uh, graded commutative algebra, algebras uh, Algebras over over uh, yes uh, W M S Q uh, on I'm sorry on W M S Q over W M R P uh, maybe uh, it, it would be better to write uh, this as also as a projective system uh, yeah satisfying the following three conditions. So this means it's, uh, it uh, starts with uh, everything is WMRP linear. No. Yes, 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 yes. And, uh, and WMSQ maps to the, to the zeros. Uh, ah, the, yes, yes, yes. And, uh, and uh, this, this is a de derivation. Yeah. Yeah. And is it only in, in non-negative degrees? Non-negative degree. Non negative degrees. And is it uh, strictly anti commutative? Strictly anti in the sense of uh, previous talk, yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. And uh, satisfying the, yes. First, uh, yeah. As Professor Gaba said, uh, we have a morphism from. Uh, ah, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I, I, I forgot. To, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That <laughs> we. we we forgot to write the important yes, yes. maps <laughs> equipped with <laughs> yes yes <laughs> maps f from the e m plus one dot to e m dot and v from e m dot to e m plus one dot uh, of uh, maybe we should write also as a system more of a projective system. Of graded Abelian groups uh, satisfying the following three conditions. And the first condition says that uh, we have a map from WMS to EM dot EM0, and uh, we assume that this is, uh, is compatible with F and V. And secondly, uh, F is a, is a map of graded algebras. Uh, over F, over F on uh, Vitring. And thirdly, the, we have the following set of equations, uh, F, V, is P, uh, F, F, D, V is D, uh, 
We are um, I omit the subscript M and and uh, superscript dot, uh, but you can guess uh, what which index should be here. And uh, F D V is D and uh, yes, um, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, but the third one is I I prefer that. F D uh, Tai Himmler. F D Tai Himmler is a Tai Himmler to the p minus one to the d Tai Himmler. And the projection formula, uh, V of omega f eta, I'm sorry, uh, omega f eta is equal to the V omega times eta. And finally, the d log of uh, f d log q, some q is an element in large q, is equal to d log q. So you assume also that there is an d log, which is what you mean by uh, differential. You assume that there is a d log map. Yes. A D log map is a, a D log is a map Q to the uh, e, e M one, and D D log is equal to zero, and D log D is a D D log is a log derivation. Yes. Uh, well, so D log. Uh, pair pair D log uh, pair D log M and D zero M is a derivation, and D M one. Composed with d log m equals is equal to zero. D log, d log m, uh, d log. Uh, this pair is a uh, log derivation in the sense of log geometry. Uh, ah, okay. Yes. Uh, okay. So uh, yes, this is a definition, and then. Uh, It is proven, uh, of course, based on the uh, work of Ilzi and uh, Langer Zink. And uh, this form is uh, due to Matsue that there exists the initial object. Ah, I'm sorry that uh, FG, probably I should say that uh, log FB proper complex on something over something on uh, SQ over RP. When uh, so RP to SQ is fixed, then we have the category of log FB for complexes on SQ over RP, and then uh, there exists the initial object in the category of. Pardon. Uh, uh, for just for the existence, I don't. I don't think we need it. No, no, but you need uh, ah yes, I'm sorry. Uh, so uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> sorry. R is a z bracket the algebra. Yes. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. And the existing initial object in the category of log f v pro complexes on. Uh, now uh, SQ over RP, and this is, uh, and it is, it is, it is denoted uh, by uh, uh, WM uh, omega dot uh, SQ over RP, and uh, and D and D log. Uh, yeah, we omit to write M uh, M and dot here, and uh, and is called uh, and. Uh, is called uh, the relative log lambit complex. On um, SQ over RP. And then next, as a next step, step uh, the people there have shown that it uh, simplifies uh, uz lambda uh, zinc and matsue has shown that uh, if we are given f the map from xm to yn uh, this is a morphism of fine log schemes
on which p is nilpotent. Uh, there exists canonically in some uh, canonically in, the, in natural sense that uh, C form complex is on the uh, eta side of X, uh, which is equal to the eta side of the bit, ring, uh, bit schemes, uh, such that, such that, Eta locally, I will, I will write slightly vaguely. Eta locally, uh, it is uh, it is written as the uh, previous one. If uh, xm is uh, xm to xm to yn is written as a spec uh, induced by the uh, morphism of uh, log rings like this. So this is uh, yes. quasi coherent. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 quasi uh, quasi coherent. Yeah, at least. Okay. Yes. On bit schemes, and yes, uh, this is a definition. And uh, next, I will explain briefly the uh, comparison map. Uh, So uh, let f as p for r, if r as in a proposition definition, and uh, yes, O m. Let O m is the structure crystal on a uh, uh, log crystal inside of x m over bit m over y n, and uh, u m. And then we have the map. Uh, uh, sorry, crystal, crystal, in topos, and then U M. We have we denote by U M the canonical uh, projection from the crystalline side to the tar side. Uh, because I'm in France, mm -hmm. I like to do this. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yes. Is it the classical etal or the log? Ah, uh, log, log, yeah. Is Probably, I, I stress it. No. no, this is a classical etal. Ah, uh, the x etal is classical etal. Classical etal. Okay. And, uh, yes, and then, uh, then uh, we have canonical, we can define canonical map from the R U M star O M to the to the, yes, W, M, uh, our relative log drum bit complex, uh, which, is, uh, which I call the comparison map in this talk. I will not recall the definition in general case, but uh, uh, if uh, F is uh, log smooth, and uh, there exists the following diagram. Uh, diagram, which I write here. Uh, Xm is uh, over Yn, and this is map F, and this is uh, in, in the bit, uh, bit, uh, bit log scheme, and uh, I ask, ah. <laughs> P is nilpotent, yes. As before, I mean that uh, includes the uh, assumption that P is nilpotent. Okay. I'm sorry that <laughs> I, I should write. Uh, I'm sorry, the, yes. And so the crystal inside is a kind of log divided power thickening compatible with P, something like this. Divided power thickening should be exact close the imagine, and uh, yes, uh, with respect to with respect to the, yes, uh, the idea of defining this. Uh, this is, this has a canonical log structure and, uh, uh, PD structure and, uh, yeah, uh, with respect to this, this. On the base. On the base. And, uh, yes. With respect to classical topology. 
And uh, if f is assumed to be log smooth, we can uh, take locally, eta locally, uh, the log smooth, uh, log smooth lift. And uh, if local enough, we have the this diagram. Uh, this is over here. And then uh, she is the following map. Uh, oh, she is uh, from RUM star. OM, but this is uh, quasi some, this is written as a log drum complex of XM uh, MM over the bit M YN, and this is restricts to the uh, bit uh, log drum complex of bit M over bit xm, bit m xm over bit m yn. And uh, I, I forgot to say the, this thing, but uh, our relative log drum bit complex is a quotient of this. Actually, the quotient of the PD version of this, but uh, yeah, anyway, anyway. And so this is a map. Y m is equal to, uh, yeah, I forgot, I forgot to say this thing also, but m, if m is equal to 1, this is, uh, uh, oh, this is uh, all, all the idem so equal. You are alluding to it, what? If you, you, uh, you impose a d of the divided powers is the formula of formula? Or? Yes, yes, yes. A, a d of x divided n is equal to x divided n minus 1 dx, something like that, yeah. So, but so it is a question of the usual derivative. Yes, 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 yes. But so, so, so it is okay <laughs> to write also like this, but okay. So, uh, so it is, uh, uh, and this comparison map is the quasi isomorphism? Ah, uh, this is the main result, so. <laughs> 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 but under some assumption, so. <laughs> Does you have to prove it's well defined globally? Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, uh, yes. Yes, simple shell technique. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then, uh, yes. Okay, then uh, I give uh, our main result. Uh, and I join to work with Hirayama. I uh, assume that f from xm to yn uh, is uh, be a, a morphism of uh, fs log schemes. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, log smooth Uh, saturated morphism of FS log or, uh, morphism of FS log schemes on which P is nilpotent. And uh, this would be nice if we, we prove the theorem and that only this assumption, but uh, unfortunately, I assume more of the following assumption. So just to remind myself, saturated includes integral, which includes exact, yes? Yes. The following. And we call that condition. Uh, this is a condition on yn. Uh, it are locally around uh, any uh, geometric point, uh, small y of uh, large y. Uh, there exists uh, Q, an FS monoid. And uh, there exists some ideal J uh, 
this is a radical ideal. A radical means that the root of j is equal to j. And uh, there exists some r commutative ring. And uh, such that uh, there exists some morphism from yn to the spec <coughs> of the r q monoid ring divided by the ideal generated by j, endowed with uh, monoid q. And uh, there exists a, morph a strict smooth morphism smooth morphism like this, uh, such that the, uh, because this is a strict morph smooth morphism, so this induces a chart uh, from qi to n, and uh, we assume that this is good at y. Good at y means that uh, mm, q, uh, this induces an uh, isomorphism from, uh, with q, and uh, n divided by o y cross at o small y. So we have to assume the local structure of Yn. Ah, uh, yes. Then, then she is a quasi small. Yeah. So there is a kind of base change question here that you yeah. always can locally embed in something good. No? Uh, you mean the general case and the, yeah, the district assumption? So oh, this, uh, yeah, base, I don't know the base change question. So the, the, uh, oh, the relative log down bit complex. So this is one of the <laughs> problems. Yeah, in the yeah. derived sense, maybe. Yeah, and, uh, even in derived sense, we, I, I don't still know. So. Oh, yes, so yeah. the problem that things are not sufficiently flat. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, uh, I, yeah, that, that pro yeah, there is this kind of problem. Yeah. Ah, okay, so yeah. obviously, if you formulate it <laughs> in the sufficiently derived sense. Ah, uh, oh, maybe, oh, uh, yeah, maybe, but uh, yeah, I have, I have uh, not uh, considered in derived, uh, derived version yet, so, so I don't know, so, uh, yeah, maybe, <laughs> Okay. Don't you think it's probably true without that assumption? Yeah, sorry? Do you probably think it's true without the star assumption or not? Yeah, not, a complete, not a completely clear, but uh, yeah. Mm. I hope so, but uh, I have no idea, so. Okay, so uh, this is, uh, then uh, C is a quasi isomorphism. And I will, uh, uh, explain previous works on that. Of course, this kind of theorem is the first of proven by Yuzi, Professor Yuzi. Uh, in this case, there was no log structure yet, so M and are trivial. And y, is, y was a perfect scheme uh, of char characteristic P. And uh, yes. This is uh, generalized by a Langer zinc. In Langer zinc case, uh, Langer zinc is a trivial case, n and n, m and n are trivial, and uh, y is uh, in general. And in trivial log case, it, of course, this assumption is all automatically satisfied, so star is nothing. So, and uh, yeah. And uh, in uh, for log drum bit complex, there is uh, a work of Hyodo Kato. Uh, they treat the case where the y is a spec k, a perfect field of characteristic p. Uh, p, 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 is, uh, p is always fixed, so p, p. And, uh, but, uh, structure? any log structure, I think. And, uh, and the, in this case, the log smooth uh, morphism of character type. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, uh, yes, and yes, I, I, which I, I'd like to explain now. So with uh, another definition, of a uh, gambit uh, denoted by 
uh, Wm of small omega dot. And but actually we can prove that they coincide. Under this assumption. So, and the uh, comparison is uh, uh, compatible with this isomorphism. So, uh, our result. Uh, uh, so, so when M and MN are FS log structures, our result uh, contains a uh, Hyodokato. Uh, but Hyodokato, in Hyodokato, they proved the theorem when uh, M and N are just fine log structures, not uh, necessarily FS log structures. So, strictly speaking, our result does not, uh, does not uh, fully contain the result of Hyodokato. And I, so, as I also mentioned the um, uh, uh, result of Matsue uh, in the paper. In the paper, he uh, defined the, the relative long term bit. Uh, Matsue treated the case that uh, uh, two cases uh, n is trivial and x over y is smooth, and m is, uh, m is associated to uh, a normal crossing divisor, a relative normal crossing divisor on x over y. This is one case, he proved the comparison. And the second case is that n is. Uh, the log structure uh, associated to the zero map from n to o y and uh, uh, f, the morphism f is, uh, how to say, normal crossing log variety. Uh, something like the log special fiber of the semi-stable redux, semi-stable variety. And in these two cases, must they prove the comparison theorem. And actually, in these cases, that this condition is satisfied. So, uh, yeah, our result uh, generalizes uh, that of Matsue. Okay. Yeah, and this isomorphism, we, we can prove this isomorphism by checking that uh, this Hyodokato definition is satisfies uh, this uh, log fb pro complex and then we have a map from here to here and uh, both uh, both admit the subjection from the log log drum complex and uh, we know we know the kernel from the log drum bit log drum complex to hyodokato drum comp hyodokato drum bit so we can we can prove that by ca by some calculation that the kernel are equal so in the case of the characterization of the drum bit complex is primary method it's, you can also do it without the x. You can have a universal probability that this is the v. Or the uh, in, in, I think in Niruzi's original definition, I think he you used the v, only v. For so, so convenient, it could be f of y. Yeah, uh, so this, uh, this uh, fb definition is invented by uh, Langazink. And, uh, okay, and that the universal probability is only there is an analog of the v definition in this setting also. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What about all the all the uh, <coughs> structure theory like canonical filtration, the various exact sequences? Ah, uh, no, not yet, not yet. Not yet. Yeah. So you have a lot of, of detailed uh, things. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But uh, I I don't use this filtration yeah, in the proof. I will not use filtration in the proof of this theorem. But uh, yeah. Of course, yeah, one, one, should, one should develop the, such kind of theory. But, but anyway, it is, yeah. he uses the like, local calculation in terms of complex of integral form, so there is some st precise structure of the, you need to, okay. <laughs> anyway, so the, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we, of course, we, we need to calculate the structure, but So, so I will sketch the, the proof. So we may work uh, eta locally. And first uh, we reduce to the 
simple case. So we may we may assume that uh, f is uh, the morphism like this: a spec of R p divided by J R p with log structure p to the spec of R of q divided by J R of q with log structure q. Uh, associated to the map from Q to P. This is an injective uh, saturated morphism ma map of uh, FS monoids. And such is that uh, Q group and P group and the Coca and P group of, of a Q group, uh, these are torsion free, torsion free Z module. And uh, this is um, from the map from two Q to P, and J is, uh, as before, J is a radical ideal. Will you also assume it's exact though, or integral? Ah, yes, uh, saturated, uh, saturated is integral. Saturated is integral. And, and this is, you, you can assume this because the thing's localized because it's you know, mod p to the n. Ah, yes, yes, r, r is uh, a ring. Uh, yeah, the, actually, the, uh, after. Reducing to this case, we can work uh, over Z bracket P ring, but uh, yeah, you can assume that P is nilpotent. Oh, oh, you should, I should assume that P is nilpotent. Well, otherwise, the weak vector. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yes, exactly. And so uh, P, P should be nilpotent on R uh, in this result. P should be nilpotent on R. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, right. okay. And yeah. And uh, then, uh, then if we reduce to this case, uh, we can work over the, the definition. Uh, it is all WM omega dot SQ over RP. And uh, yes, uh, first we treat the case uh, J is uh, empty. And uh, this is, uh, in some sense, essential case. And, uh, and uh, in this case, the map C is uh, like this. Uh, from the omega dot wm rq uh, tensored over gq with gp and that with the log structure p i'm sorry i write like this over wm oh yes rq rqq bit, bit log ring of rqq and uh, the, the, the target is uh, our relative, uh, I'm sorry, uh, w, WM omega dot of RP, P, I'm sorry, I write like this, over RQ, Q. And I will denote simply this over omega dot uh, P over Q. For simplicity, I will write here as a WM omega dot uh, P over Q. And then, uh, mm, yes, we need some. I need to prepare some notation. So P is uh, we are we have a canonical map from P to R P, and then uh, we can compose this with a 
tie him to so the bit m of Rp. And uh, for an element x here, we will denote it uh, the image by the large x to small x. But the scheme, <coughs> scheme large x will not uh, appear in the sequence, so this is harmless. So, and uh, yes. And also, we have a map from P to by d log uh, Wm omega 1 of P over Q. And this induces a map from a Q group. And the Q group is a uh, uh, Q group is a uh, torsion free. So and I fix this. And uh, we denote the image of uh, the ice standard coordinate to, to here by d log uh, large xi. OK, then uh, for, yes. For a small x in a p, p1 over p. Uh, this, I think, has appeared in, in some talk. This is an element consisting of elements in y in a p group tensor z over z with z1 over p. Uh, such that zi exists some u, a natural number, such that p to the u times y is in large p. This set will be denoted by p1 over p. And for x in p1 over p, uh, let ux to be the minimum of such u, uh, I mean the minimum of u, such, uh, u in u natural number, such that p to the u times x in p and we define the the x part of the relative log drumbit complex to be the submodule, actually subcomplex, uh, generated by the following element, elements of the following form uh, d of ux of the eta times x to the p to the ux times x dot i in some large i of the d log xi. And uh, it's a deriva derivation, ah, derivative. D of B of U to P to UX times eta, X to the P to the UX times X uh, times I in large I, D log XI. And where X is fixed and eta uh, is uh, an element in the bit of uh, M minus UX R, and I is a subset of the possibly empty uh, uh, from set from 1 to r. r is here, there. p group is isomorphic to r. And uh, the x part is a sub. Why sub the d, the v, why the v is up in the Ah, uh, yeah, this follows, uh, this follows uh, yeah, the right way of writing of Langa Zing. And I <laughs> it's it's uh, awful? It sounds <laughs> awful, yeah. Uh, maybe. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> what does it mean? Is it d times v? v, v, v. Yeah, so yeah, we, we, can, we can write like this. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, just I follow the way of writing of the Langa Zing, but if you don't uh, like it, so we can write like this. Yeah. <laughs> but then it would be disaster to <laughs> change uh, our papers <laughs> like this. So, uh, okay. And, uh, Then by uh, with some calculation, we can prove that uh, Wm omega dot p over q is equal to sum of its x parts. x runs to p1 over p of the x parts. But I sh we, sh we would like to prove that this is direct sum. Uh, yes. To do so, 
one sees the following. So uh, we can consider the same drum bit complex with P and Q replaced by P group and Q group. And uh, if we write uh, precisely, this, this is a log drum, relative log drum bit complex of uh, like this. But it is uh, canonically equal to the drum bit, relative drum bit complex without log structure. And this is uh, treated by Lange and Zinc. And uh, this, is, uh, this ring is uh, uh, relatively uh, low-lamp polynomial ring over this ring. And then uh, uh, Lange and Zinc uh, introduced a notion of basic bit differentials. And proved that any element is written in a unique way as a sum of basic bit differentials. And uh, strictly speaking, Lange and Zinc treated the case of polynomial algebras, but we can modify uh, yeah, we can modify it to prove the similar description in the case of Roland polynomial algebras, and I think it is also written in the paper of Batmore Schultz. And uh, yeah, and yeah, and so so this for this we know better, and then so we we compare them. Then one sees the following. So uh, we have a Wm omega dot p over q and. Uh, this maps to the by factoriality uh, to this one. And uh, this was a sum of x, its x parts. And uh, this also has a sum of x parts, but uh, x, is, x, x is now runs through the p group 1 mono over p. But here, we can check that the relation between the x parts and the basic bit differentials, and we can prove that this is a direct sum. And then next, we have a map uh, yeah, that this map respects the x parts. So we have this map for each x in a <coughs> large p, a p1 over p, and we can prove that this is an isomorphism, each x parts. Of course, x should be in a p1 over p is an isomorphism. Uh, map, 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 map. And this is a, how to say, yeah, this is a, first we consider the case q is trivial, and in this case, uh, so use. We, we use basic bit differential. So uh, I said that uh, the any element is written unique in a unique way as a sum of basic bit differentials. And we construct the map in the opposite direction by, fix, by defining the image of each uh, basic bit differentials and uh, check that this gives the converse. If I have time, maybe I don't have time, but uh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't have time. So. <laughs> If I had the time, I, I would explain some calculation, concrete calculation, but I omit it. So, and then uh, this shows that this is injective, in particular. And then in the special case of the equilibria, you mean? Q is trivial and P is a uh, yeah, yeah, concrete So, so, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the, ah. the sum of the bottom is it, uh, all, all X or is it some other some partition? Ah, yeah, uh, uh, I, I mean, this, uh, you mean this map? What's that? Direct sum? Direct sum is the all, all element in P group one of the. You don't need some partition. <laughs> because you put ah, yeah, 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 no. Uh, Ah, I'm sorry. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, overlaps. No, no, no. 
No, no, I don't think so. Uh, it is written as the image, image of this form, and uh, yeah, this vanishes. You, you go to the DI and you have to need some order, you need some partition. Ah, all the partition, yes, yes, ah, yeah. Uh, so this is a, this, this is a, so, so the weight is fixed and the partition is a, moves. So, and, uh, and each, uh, so this X part is a sum of basic bit differentials of fixed weight. So the partition moves and uh, sum is uh, with respect to weights. Yes. And then next we, uh, we consider the map. A comparison map. And uh, yeah, again we compare with the Langer Zink case. I thought you didn't express, so you claim that yes. uh, you do it uh, the comparison of the, to show the direct sum, you have to compare the, the terms in the composition. And you said that somehow you do it when Q is trivial? Yeah, yeah. First, we construct a map when Q is trivial, and uh, we prove that this in this is a map for general Q in this setting yeah. with J empty. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is a, so, so we have uh, something like, uh, how to say, exact sequence, of, which is valid for log. Uh, if uh, drum, we have an exact sequence of the long drum complex if we divide over something. And we have a similar formula for relative log drum bit. And yeah, this is proven by Matsue. And uh, yes, and we have this diagram. And this is injective. What this is that map. And uh, yes, and this is uh, injective also. Uh, this is uh, essentially by Langer zinc. And we can prove that injectivity here. Uh, here, we should use crucially in that uh, this is uh, saturated. And uh, yes, and then, then uh, we see that image C is injective. Uh, C is injective, I'm sorry. C is injective, and image C is uh, actually a direct. Uh, we can check the, this map concretely, and we see that uh, it is a map. Uh, image is a direct sum. Uh, where P prime is. Uh, Q, 1 over P, uh, plus P. And uh, then uh, image is a direct sum, and so finally we should check that the other part, the remaining parts are cyclic. But in this case, uh, because we have shown already that this P of uh, our X part is uh, isomorphic to the X part in Langer zinc sense, and so this is a cyclic uh, e, uh, for x in the p1 over p, uh, which is not contained in p prime, uh, by the we know the effect of applying d to basic bit differentials very well. So, so this is a, uh, we, if we use Langer's in calculation, we finish the proof. And this is a case uh, where uh, j is uh, empty. And uh, uh, yeah, maybe in uh, remaining four minutes, I will explain very briefly the case J uh, general. Uh, and in the case J general, uh, actually, that this our map C is uh, the quotient of some quotient, map between some quotient of the previous, uh, the map in the previous case. Radical, yes, yes. And uh, we need to, so, so it, it uh, we need to know what I and I, I dot and I prime dot are. For this, we 
introduce the following, not following terminology. X, an element in P, is uh, called J minimal. Uh, if uh, one cannot write x as a sum of y and z uh, when y is j and z is in p. And this is a definition for an element in large p, but we need to define the j minimality for an element in p1 over p. And the element x in p1 over p is called j minimal uh, if uh, for any n in z such that p to z and x is in p, this element is j minimal. And actually, we can prove using the radical, radicality, <laughs> radicalness, j is radical, that so for this, for any is equivalent to the for some n. And uh, so, so we see that these, uh, these two definitions are compatible for an element x in p. And then, then we prove that the i dot i prime dot is a direct sum of x parts. such that x is not j minimal. And uh, uh, i dot is mapped by c isomorphically to the set of x, x in p prime. p prime is a q1 over p plus, uh, wait, uh, one q1 over p plus p, such that x is not j minimal. So the j is, uh, is an ideal in the q. In uh, J is an ideal well in Q. Q, Q, Q. Q. I'm sorry, J is a, a radical ideal in Q. Uh, okay. Q is in P. And so the, by dividing out, uh, we see that uh, this is a direct sum of X parts in which the index is J minimal, and also for this. And so this is the image of a direct factor, and the, the other direct factors is acyclic by the same reason as before. So this finishes the proof. And if we drop the assumption that J is radical, or if we drop the assumption, yeah, uh, condition star, it seems that the, the by constructing the, this quotient, the non-trivial, this sum and can be, uh, how to say, divided in non-trivial way, so we need uh, more cal we would need more calculation to prove beyond this case. Thank you very much. We give no counterexamples. Uh, uh, so we have an example that uh, the, uh, this is not, uh, uh, the quotient is not a uh, direct sum. So uh, this, this is, uh, this is divided non-trivially. But if both hand sides are divided non-trivially, this is possible that it remains to be quasi-isomorphic. So I don't know the situation. So, so I don't have a counterexample for the comparison. So under your assumptions, uh, suppose you take the projective limit of the WM. Yes. So you get the WM omega i. Is it P torsion free? Uh, probably yes, but um, probably yes. Probably yes, maybe. Uh, is it known and uh, in, so, so it, it is a reduced the Langer's in case? Is it known Pardon? in this case? Uh, so you mean the Langer's in case? Mm -hmm. oh. Of which base you're, do, you're doing? Ah, ah. I'll reduce. Uh, in, in my case, I cannot may not be reduced, but uh, you mean the... Well, if R is not reduced, then I guess I can be shorter. Ah, R is not reduced. Ah, OK. <laughs> so maybe. So, okay, uh, so if R is not reduced, then P 
it also can happen. Reduced to ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. Uh, sorry, uh, in the oh, R is it? Is that the, the, this limit is speed ocean free? No, I don't think so. so because uh, I don't think you, you know the kernel of, uh, of D on the WM. Mm. So mm, 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 you, mm. you don't have the lo you have some part of the local structure, but not much. So you want mm, to, uh, mm. to show that the kernel of D is major F on the. On the yeah, yeah, yeah. I have not yet. But first, you know, you want to know that it's pitotion free. Uh, yeah. So you, you have this uh, canonical iteration, and you, are <coughs> you want to see that C is injective, essentially. Yeah, yeah. I have not yet explored. This, I think, is not known in the not, um, case. Ah, uh, by Langazink. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Mm. So, so, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It would be. I should explore. Yeah. yeah. Thank you.